guys, today I'm going to be doing a semi-review slash reveal video on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull size MM bag and this is the Demir Abin pattern. They also have this in the Demir Azure pattern which is the white and the gray checkered. They also have the monogram which is um, the one that has like the logos all around the bag and that one you can change the color of the lining and they also have a red epi leather bag which um, the entire bag is red and it's made of complete leather but that bag it only comes in a size medium so it would be this size but it costs um, it starts at 2050 I think yeah 2050 dollars so that's a big difference from these bags um, the medium bag is a thousand 200 no it's a thousand two hundred and sixty right before tax after tax it's one thousand three hundred and seventy one now the PM bag which is the small bag starts at one thousand one hundred one thousand one hundred eighty before tax and the GM which is the largest bag starts at one thousand three hundred and forty dollars before tax so as you can see there's only an eighty dollar difference between all the bags so if you're someone like me, you might think, you know, bigger is better. And just for $80, that would be a great bargain to get the biggest size bag. But the big bag is just too, too big for my liking. I feel like, um, and the PM bag is just pointless to get because it's so tiny. Um, so the GM bag, the big bag, I feel would be good if you're someone who might need maybe a gym bag um, you might need an overnight bag or, you know, a beach bag. That would be great for that. But I feel like for that price, for 1300 whatever, that's just too much money to spend on a bag that you're not going to be using all the time. Unless you are someone who travels a lot, then that might be a good investment. But I think that the medium bag, the MM, is the perfect size for me. So now let me go into the details. Let me just start off with the packaging that it came in. It came in this box. I got this as one of the anniversary gifts for my boyfriend because we made four years. So it comes with this little string like this. I just take that off. And when you open the bag, little envelopes. I don't think I've ever even opened this, so I don't even know what's inside this. So the first one is, oh, it's basically a letter that he wrote to me. Um, so that's that. Let me just put that back. This one, it's, let me see. This card is just a thank you card. Thank you for shopping with Louis Vuitton, blah, blah. And this is just a return voucher. When you open the plastic or the paper, the bag is inside and then it just comes with the dust bag, which I probably won't ever use because once I open up a bag, like I never put it back in the box. I am gonna save the box though because I think the box is really pretty. Okay, so now to show you guys the details of the bag. I don't know if you guys can see, but I got my bag initialed. I don't know if you guys can see it there. SN. Um, and I chose the gold color because I feel like that's a really classic color and it matches with the gold detailing on the bag. The hot stamping is a complimentary service that Louis Vuitton offers. When I went, I actually got it hot stamped like a few days ago. Um, I didn't have to bring my receipt or anything like that. Of course, if the bag is counterfeit, they're not going to hot stamp it for you. Um, and so when I went, it took about half an hour. I called ahead of time just so that they know that I was going. And then, um, yeah, I went. I was the only one there that was there for hot stamping, so it took about 30 minutes. I went to the one. Um, at first, I went to the one on Saks Fifth Avenue, but that one, there were six bags ahead of, ahead of me. So I went to the one on 50 like 56 in Fifth Avenue, I think. Um, and yeah, that was right away. And 
Um, yeah, it's free. When I gave the bag to the lady, she was kind of like examining it, I guess, to see if it was like real fake or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's also another way to tell that the bag is authentic when it has the hot stamping on it. So yeah, and it comes with these strings that you can use to cinch the bag. I don't like to cinch the bag just because I like how it looks as a tote. But if you want to kind of use it more as like a purse, you can definitely cinch the bag. Let me try to cinch it so you guys can see how it looks. So it looks something like that. Maybe that's not the best cinching, but yeah. I'd rather it fully open. I just like the look of the tote better. So inside it has, of course, the red lining. My wallet, let me take that out of there. It has the hook if you want to close it. It doesn't come with a zipper, it's just a hook. So you can hook it like that. You know, there's still a bunch of space. If you're scared that something might fall out, then that's something to take into consideration. And it only comes with the hook. Um, and yeah, this is kind of a new thing. It comes with the little pouch that you can remove it's attached with the hook so yeah this is i think they added this like maybe two years ago or something um which i think is super super great that you know i got it when they did add it so you can have it in your bag like an extra pocket and you can take it out and use it as like a pochette or something like this and the inside is just i just have I just have like some of my IDs here and my chapstick or whatever. Um, let me put that to the side so I can show you this. It basically just has kind of a divider in the middle and then you can just put whatever you want here. Um, I wouldn't really use this as a wallet because I don't want like all my stuff just flying everywhere. But this I can definitely use if I want to carry like a mirror, maybe some extra makeup or whatever, I'll put it inside of here. And then the inside of the bag is just like this. There's only one zipper in the bag. Um, oh, it also comes with this little thing inside. It says coated fabric. Okay, yeah. Um, and the, uh, the zipper, you can kind of turn it over like that. Really, really spacious so the reason I really love this bag is because I'm a type of person I go to graduate school right so I am constantly having to you know stuff my bag with books and a whole bunch of stuff for school so when I look at bags I'm looking for something that I can use when I don't go to school and something when I go when I um, something I use when I do have to go to school so um, I'm like so excited that my boyfriend got me this one because it fits everything I need for school. So I'm just going to demonstrate how much stuff it can fit. Um, and I'm just going to put random stuff that I would put on the day that I go to school. So first off, I'm going to put a binder. This is a five-star binder. Um, I don't know the exact dimensions of this. It's a regular binder. I always bring this every day when I go to school. I'm gonna put that in the bag. Um, I'm just gonna put a big textbook. I don't really bring textbooks to school, but just so you guys can kind of see that this does fit, fit really good into the bag. I'm put that in there. Um, I usually bring post-its to school. I don't know, just in case. You never know when you might get post-it. Um, my headphones. I always bring my headphones. Um, to listen to my iPod, put that in there, and then lastly, this is something I never went to school, but just so you guys can see how much it can fit, I'm going to be putting in the biggest laptop that I have. This is an HP laptop. It's 15 inches um, wide and 10 inches long. So let me just put that in here so you guys can see that it can also fit in here. All of that is in my bag. And it does fit comfortably. Nothing is sticking out. The only thing is that the more stuff 
you put in, you should take into account that the straps are really skinny. And the heavier it is, the more it's going to dig into your shoulder. So let me just show you how it looks. Um, like this, with all of this stuff in it. And then to the front. Let me just show you how it looks without anything in it because I know it probably looks a bit bulky right now. Okay, so this is how the bag looks from the side um, with nothing in it. And I got the initials here because I usually put my hands in the front of the bag like this. And then this is how it is from the front. One thing I also really like about this bag is that even if it's um, if there's nothing inside the bag, it doesn't crumble when you sit it up. So let me just show you guys. Let's pretend this is like the floor or something. It doesn't crumble when it stands alone, um, which is something I, I like a lot because there's going to be days where I don't stuff my bag and I don't want it to just like flop whenever I sit it down. Um, it doesn't come with feet. Which I was kind of sad about because now I'm going to have to be a little more careful with um, placing the bag on the floor, but it's okay. You can get a lot of usage with this bag and it's really versatile. Um, you can use it, you know, to travel, to go to school as a regular bag. You can cinch it. One thing I heard about cinching your bag is I heard that it can make the leather tear. Um, which is something I don't really have to worry about because I don't think I'll be cinching my bag but that is a complaint I've heard from a lot of people who have this bag that when you cinch it and you open it and cinch it and open it it does tear the leather um, the only thing that's leather on this bag are these straps and this and then this is all canvas um, so that being said I think although it's really versatile and you can get a lot of usage out of this, this isn't a bag that I'm gonna like wear once every three months. I'm gonna wear this bag a lot. Um, but for the price, for 1200 etc., etc., for the size medium, I think that's so, so expensive. And I know a few years ago, this bag was like in the 900 range, which is like insane to think this is like now in the thousands. Um, so. I wouldn't be surprised if like five years from now this goes up to like 2000 so if this is a bag that you like I would suggest you know if you have the money now maybe buying it before it gets super super expensive I'm not gonna lie I definitely would still want to buy this bag on my own but this is a big purchase so I would have to kind of think about it more and you know save up money to get it but in the end I probably would have still gotten it anyways my bag is made in the U.S. A lot of people prefer Louis Vuitton bags that are made in France because um, supposedly the, the quality of the bag is better when it's made in France. I can't give you know an opinion on that because I don't have a made in France Louis Vuitton bag to compare it to, so I don't really know the difference in quality. But so far, you know, with this made in USA bag, I think it's pretty good. So yeah guys, that was my two cents on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM bag. If you have any further questions about the bag um, or my experience with the bag, you can definitely leave a comment below, leave me a message. Um, and yeah, I'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible. I usually respond to comments, you know, right away. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.